Okay, so I'm going to start with primers. First, I have this Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I got this in a Play by Sephora box. I don't really know how to feel about it yet. It's kind of on the verge for me, but hopefully after this month, I will know my feelings about it. Then I have this Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Primer. I have not used this. I just recently got this in my last Play by Sephora box. I think it was my April Play by Sephora box. I will link that in the description box below if you want to go watch that. And I also have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. And then I have this Mirad Invisiblur Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And this isn't really much of a primer as more as it is a sunscreen. So I'll probably just use this on days when I don't wear makeup. And for lip balm, I'm using this Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm by Fresh. Now for foundations. This is a LA Girl Pro BB Cream. It did not have a shade on it. But it's pretty light. And it blends in really nice. Then I have the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 110. And then for setting powders, I have this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder that I just got in a Play by Sephora box. And it's translucent. And then I just bought the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. You can see that in my VIB Sephora haul. I haven't used this, but I'm so excited to because everyone loves it. The only concealer I have in here for this month is the NARS Concealer. This is in the shade Light One Chantilly. Then I have two blushes. This is the NARS Blush in the shade Orgasm. And that's a little hard to see on camera, but in person it is beautiful. And then the second blush I have is a NYX blush. This is Pink the Town. This one's a little more bright. It kind of shows up better. But it's not as sparkly as Orgasm. Then for highlighters, I have this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid. I got this in a Play by Sephora box not long ago. Okay, a lot just came out onto my hand. But that's what it looks like. And then another highlighter I'm using this month is the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. I love the feel of these butter highlighters. And here is Champagne. And then my bronzer this month will be the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Light. And I'll be using a MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. The two eyeshadow palettes I chose this month are both from Urban Decay. The first one is the Naked Basics palette. It has a lot of very basic, pretty matte shadows. And then this is called the Feminine Palette. I don't know how old this is. Someone actually gave this to me. But this has a lot of very beautiful shimmer shades that I think would complement those matte ones really well. And it's really colorful. And this month I'm using the Clinique High Impact Mascara. And for my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Auburn. I'm also going to try this Too Faced Mascara Melt Off. I got it in a Play by Sephora box a long time ago, and I've just never tried it. So I'm going to try and use it to take my mascara off this month. Then I'm using two eyeliners this month. This is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. I love this one. I just got this in my VIB sale haul. And the second one is the Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner. I thought that this would look really pretty if I did a 
eyeshadow look using the Urban Decay Basics palette because it would be really matte eyeshadow but then a really pretty glittery liner. And then my Ardell Magnetic Lashes. They're in there somewhere even though it looks like they're not in there. And then of course the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray.